Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. Quite a few of you, my dear viewers, asked me to try Android Studio on Linux on Dex. So we're gonna see if it actually can, be, can run on Linux on Dex. If you expect me to show how to create Android apps and how to compile them, how to run them, how to create APK file, sadly you're in a wrong video. Um, I know nothing about Android Studio part of that ex exists and it helps developers to create Android apps. But still, um, I would like to show you that it's possible to have Android Studio running on Linux on Dex. And just for a second, just note this, that Android Studio is a program that helps create a developer, helps developers to create Android apps. So I'm about to show you how Android Studio software for develop developing Android apps will run on Linux on Dex, which running on Android. This is like inception. I mean, like you're running program inside the program on the top of the program that was this is created with the first program is, well, you know, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. Right. Okay. So let's start. To set up pro uh, to show you a setup process, I, to be honest, I don't really want to do that because it took me about 20 minutes to half an hour to actually install this. We've all done loading things and etc. And some of the error messages that I will let you know where the error messages appeared for me. But basically, what you need to do, you need to Google, go to google.com and search for Android Studio. You're going to be taken to a developer.android.com website. Under, under Android Studio, you just click on there. It gives you a downloads page. I just clicked on a download option and I downloaded this, the last bit, the last bit, which is as Android Studio IDE blah, 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 dash Linux dot zip. I downloaded this into the folder, which it is LOD share internal. And this is a folder I downloaded. Next thing, what I done is I went to tools, archive manager, open archive manager, and then I extracted this file into other folder somewhere inside my internal phone storage. If you watch my previous videos, you know what LOD share stands for and what this folder does. But I basically extracted this um, Linux uh, Android Studio um, Linux version zip file into the downloads folder inside Linux on Dex. And this is a folder with all the files, which technically should be a bit closer to 1.1 gigabytes. Let's see how much it is. So right now it's 7. Or you just... Here we are, 1.1 gigabytes. Somehow it's just deciding to restart once in a while. Weird. Anyway, 1.1 gigabytes downloaded and extracted using the utilities archive manager to extract. So to extract, you run archive manager, you file, click file, open, go to the folder where you download the zip file, click open, and then click extract. Choose the folder where you want to extract, click extract, and just wait until it's all finished. So I have Android Studio program basically unzipped inside the downloads folder. Next thing, next thing, what you need to do, you basically need to use a terminal to get to this file. So if I open my terminal, I'm going to go to this folder now. So it's basically inside home downloads Android Studio. So see, I'm already in, in the home folder. So and I can see the downloads folder there. So downloads. Android Studio. So I'm inside Android Studio folder. What you see there is basically the same is being displayed in the terminal. Next thing I need to enter the bin folder. So CD bin. And to run Android Studio, I need to find the folder called studio.sh. So that's the file I need to run. So I'm going to do dot slash studio.sh. Enter. And now Android Studio will run. On Linux on Dex, on Android. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So let's give a second. So um, again, um, I'm not going to show you all the setup because it's already been done. It's not going to happen again. But as soon as you run the first time, is you're going to be presented with the setup guide. So you choose your like uh, locations, etc. It's very easy. Just two free clicks of next button, and you end up in there in this page. 
um, during the setup process, uh, it's going to start downloading about, I think, every, uh, around 800 to 1 gigabytes of extra files to make sure this program runs, which basically these files include like repositories, compilers, blah, 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 all these things. During the download of extra files and installation of extra files, I received an error message. I believe it was saying MKD SD card, something like that. And the error was explaining to me that it's something to do with the 32 bit system. I don't really know what this error means or why it's appeared or is it bad? Is it good? Is it one of these errors that just don't care? Or this error is actually like a code red and you need to go fix it. I never used Android Studio. Uh, I don't know how to use it. I just know that it exists and I watched a couple of tutorial videos. So pretty much I'm extremely newbie uh, about this program. So I'm just showing you that it's actually running. So, okay, it's running on my Linux on Dex. I'm going to choose start a new Android Studio project. Bear in mind that this can crash anytime because during my uh, initial testing, it crashed twice. I don't know why. Maybe because this error message with MKD SD card, something like something 32 bit. Maybe it's not that reason. I don't really know, but we're still going to try to see how it works. So right now I have phone and tablets. I can dis uh, create the app for Wear OS, uh, TV, Android Auto and Android things. We're going to go for phone and tablets, so basic activity, empty activity, button navigation activity, full screen activity, master detail activity, navigation, Google Maps activity. Let's click on a Google Maps activity, click next. What's my application name? I'm just going to leave as it is because why not? Uh, save location is going to go to desktop Android Studio project, my application number two, because my application number one is with that one that I was trying to test before I start recording this video. Uh, minimal API requirements is ice cream sandwich. I go all the way to Android 9.0 Pi. Your app will run on off device, less than 1% of device. What? Well, your app will run on less than 1% devices. This app will run on 1.1% devices. So if I choose this, app will run on 100% devices. So basically it means like Android 9.0 is not the, like it's just been announced, like it's been announced about a month ago that my Note 9 should receive the update sometime this month. And just re recently, I think yesterday, the day before, I found out that it's been delayed. So that's why probably saying 1% or less. Let's, I don't know, let's go for form for, is that the oldest one? Yeah. 100% devices. So it means even this app should run on my Note 9. Maybe, I don't know. Use the project support installation apps. Use Android X artifact. Don't know what that means. I'm not going to do it. Uh, Kotlin or Java based. I don't know. I don't know how to code in Kotlin. Or I don't know how to code in Java. I'm just going to choose randomly. Uh, package name going to be .com. Uh, com dot example dot my application that's fine click finish and technically it should start opening the actual coding environment for me fingers crossed it's not gonna crash tip of the day you can quickly okay thank you very much for tip of the day and here we are we have android studio sort of running on my linux on dex with the error message says literally starts by here i don't know yeah camera is going to block it but it basically says home dash desktop dash then lows under studio bin java finish with none zero exit volume of two don't know what that means i'm just showing you that it's actually running on a linux index with bugs with error message or without just showing you if it's running and to be honest i don't have a clue how to use this we're just going to start pressing random buttons to see where it takes us. Settings, Gradle. Okay, Gradle bad, Gradle uh, app. Okay, so, okay, let's let's say it's, it's working. I don't know. Let's go to oh, Google Maps API. Okay, so obviously I need to get your API key. It goes here. I need to find my API key. Obviously, Google Google Maps API became chargeable. They give you like 
300 requests per day or 2000 requests per month, something like that. But then it's, you cannot get Google API key right now without credit card details. They gave you a free limit, but if as soon as you exceed it, it's going to be chargeable. Uh, when I'm working doing a day job, it's a big headache at the moment because majority of our clients, in one way or another way, they have the Google API key built in. I mean, coded into their websites and programs and etc. And now suddenly Google decided to charge it. So it's a bit of a headache. Anyway, let's go back to Android Studio. So, okay, Android test. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Example instrument Java. Let's double click and see what we get. Okay. Import. Import Android contents. Uh, okay. So, the, P, the dear viewers, if one of you know exactly what they're supposed to do, or etc., I don't know, just send me a line of code or something I'm going to try to run. Obviously, don't send me something that is going to just goddamn break my computer, my don't don't, don't nine or something. But maybe you have something similar that you want to see if it's or something like a demo that I, or point me where I can download something like a demo where I can try to compile it and create the actual app and try run it using Android Studio on Linux Index because like I said I don't have no clue how to use it I'm not just gonna go and um, spend hours and hours um, trying to write Android code terminal should open up I got an error message IDE error occurred literally it's behind the camera but it says IDE error occurred for some reason I'm gonna click run because all the programs with the run button this means that I'm about to run this actual program without one single line of extra code hold shift to debug hold shift to debug does nothing hold shift to debug does nothing uh, it's said uh, open build view okay boom and I got error again uh, run it's let's say it's slow it's slow I tried the Visual Studio code video visual studio code this a uh, program they basically coding IDE from Microsoft was running faster than this one uh, edit configurations I mean I don't know what I'm doing I'm probably gonna stop recording by now but this I hope gives you an idea that this actually running at up to certain level let's say a seven out of ten I would give uh, six maybe seven out of ten uh, score regarding the actual usability of this okay it gives me a run, a run button here let me move the window can I move the window yes I can bingo have a run button should we well let's try let's try clicking I clicked run but run 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 button let's see what's gonna happen and it does nothing it does absolutely nothing and I still got the error message behind the camera anyway Android Studio code running on my Linux on Dex with no bugs. I had one or two error messages during installation, but it, it's it's working, it's running. Uh, I think it needs a bit tweaking maybe to something turn be it needs to be turned on and something needs to be turned off to make this program run a bit faster. But at the moment I do not well I'm not complaining. It it's working is just I, well, I, I wish to run a bit, this program to run a bit faster. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know, sorry, I'm not showed you how this program can be used, but at least you can see this running. If you, if like I said, if you have any ideas or you know the link where I can go and download something basic, something super basic program, Android source code that I can insert into this program and try to compile it and run it, let me know in the comment section below and I definitely will try that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next video when I'm testing Android apps and games on various devices. Thank you and goodbye.